gentleman, Jack Thompson. How about that? What a reception. It's a long way from the first time I talked to you when you were really worried about whether we were going to make another film in Australia. I'll tell you that. It is a long, long way. Yeah, it certainly yeah. is, yeah. What about this award now? How important was this award? What did you get? The Best Supporting Actor, and it was best awarded supporting by, actor. by the... Uh, who was it, the was critics it, over there? No, it was awarded by the jury at the uh, Cannes Film Festival. And yeah. The president of that jury was Kirk Douglas. I believe that the, that the film was worth an award, and they chose to focus their attention on me, for which uh, I'm very, very grateful and very, very humble. Yeah. Tell, tell me about Breaker, though. Uh, I never, un I didn't understand. Uh, and in it, talked about Breaker. It actually, he got the name Breaker Morant because he, he broke horses. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, what's was, the history of him? He was known before he was a soldier. He, he certainly was. I mean, he was certainly known, as, as you mentioned, through the bulletin, through his poetry being published there. But he was also known throughout the back blocks, either as a man who owed a lot of money in town or a man who'd broken horses very, very well. Mm. And uh, the more you look into the background of uh, Breaker Morant's history, the less you know about the man, because it's full of, uh, you know, incidents that are supposed to have occurred, like he jumped a horse over a 25-foot wall. Well, I don't think he could have done that, but it, maybe it was a 15-foot wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a man with a considerable amount of sort of romantic background to him. He was a great horse breaker. He was recognized as a great horse breaker, and that's where he got his name. He was also a villain. The picture's going to make a lot of noise. It already has. I, I mean, it already has. I mean, before the end of this month, it will open in New York in five theaters. Everybody tells you about the Cannes cell. They say Cannes is uh, filled with people flogging movies and they don't care, and people walking over each other to get their, to get their products That's true. shown. And, That's uh, true. Yeah. That's true. So, uh, Cannes is full of that sort of stuff. But the, the reaction when an award is made at Cannes uh, belies all of that mm. because uh, once the award is made, then people understand that that award has been made by a panel of their peers, and that's a fairly honorific position. And that award was made after, uh, to my knowledge, something like seven years of presenting film from this country at Cannes. And I believe that it was uh, a token international recognition of Australian filmmakers. And for that, I'm very, very grateful. It is a long way. Mm. from wondering where the next film will come from. Oh, you deserve it. You've done some <laughs> great things. Is it, now, tell me the truth. You didn't pitch a tent over there while they were all living in the hotels, did you? They tell me you were not living in a year. tent. Not this year. Not this year. Not this year. But you did it no, previously. No, I, have, I have previously, yeah. And, and, I, and I still think that if, uh, if I went back there under the most ideal circumstances, I would have an office in town in Cannes, I would still have the tent up in the uh, cherry orchard looking over the Gorge de Louvre with a Saracen village behind you. That, that's, that's not a bad idea. It sounds very romantic if you've oh, got the right people. Oh, it is very romantic, you know. Yeah. If you've got the right people there, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you the next question? Uh, <laughs> do they have do those girls at Cannes that, on the beach there, do they really on run the around beach? with the uh, topless and no, and no gear? And, and, uh, Ab absolutely. They do. Absolutely. Very yeah. busy tent you yeah. have. Uh, uh, really. <laughs> really. <laughs> and anything to create a tension in Cannes, and if you can create a tension in Cannes, you're doing very well. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> well, for Breaker Morant, of course, they had the, I, I, at least I saw a photograph, uh, horseback and the actual right, uniforms. And they, gave, and they gave away the digger hats. There's that sort of promotion goes on all the time. Mm. And this year, uh, there was very little sort of giveaway promotion. There was a certain amount of it. And when these hats appeared, they were so distinctively Australian and uh, like local French cab drivers and that sort of thing recognised them as being Anzac hats. So it was a, a point of focus, but that's not what sold the film. It would be very funny seeing a French cab driver pick you up with an Aussie hat on saying, Good day, digger. Yeah, yes, bonjour, man. digger. Bonjour, yeah. digger. To song kangaroo in this bar, don't Oh, I even played maracas on one of them.